Exercise 5. Dell Company issues bonds dated January 1, 2011 with a par value of $550,000. The bond's annual contract rate is 13% and interest is paid semi-annually on June 30th and December 31st. The bonds mature in three years. The annual market rate at the date of issuance is 12% and the bonds are sold for $563,522. Remember the inverse relationship between the market rate and the selling price. As the market rate goes lower, the selling price is higher. When the market rate is less than the contract rate, bonds sell at a premium. We're asked to use the effective interest method to amortize the premium for these bonds. The effective interest method says that as the carrying value moves toward the par value, it does so at a constant rate of interest. The initial carrying value is equal to the selling price, $563,522. The carrying value minus the par value is the initial unamortized premium of $13,522. The amount of interest paid every six months is equal to $550,000 multiplied by the contract rate, 13%, divided by 2, $35,750 in interest is paid every six months. Bond interest expense is a constant rate equal to the semi-annual market rate on the date of issuance, $563,522 multiplied by 6% is 33811 The difference between the cash interest paid and the interest expense is the dollar amount of the premium amortization, $1,939. The carrying value moves toward the par value by $1,939. We subtract $1,939 from the unamortized premium, dropping it to $11,583, which drops the carrying value to $561,583. December 31, 2011, the cash interest paid is constant, $35,750. Bond interest expense is not a constant dollar amount, but it is a constant rate equal to 6%, the semi-annual market rate, of the carrying value, $561,583 multiplied by 6% is 33695 This represents an amortization of $2,055. 35750 minus 33695 We amortize the premium by $2,055 dropping the unamortized premium to $9,528. This reduces the carrying value to $559,528. June 30, 2012, the cash interest paid is a constant dollar amount, $35,750, and bond interest expense is a constant rate. 6% of $559,528 is $33,572. Notice that as the carrying value is dropping, so is the dollar amount of bond interest expense. The premium amortization is 2178 This drops the unamortized premium to 7350 and the carrying value to $557,350. December 31, 2012, interest paid $35,750. Bond interest expense, 6% of $557,350. 33441 The amount of the premium amortization is 2309 The unamortized premium drops to $5,041 and the carrying value drops to $555,041. June 30, 2013 Cash interest paid $35,750 Bond interest expense is equal to 6% of $555,041. 33,302, and the premium amortization is 2,448. The unamortized premium drops to $2,593, and the carrying value drops to 552,593. December 31, 2013, cash interest paid 35,750. And in the final period, we know that the balance in the unamortized premium needs to be zero so that the carrying value is $550,000. The amortization of the premium must be $2,593. So the bond interest expense 
including the impact of rounding, is 33,156.